one was supposed to be for men's day is is uh the, this um organization called uh black canadians for cultural educational and economic progress uh they were holding their men's day and this is what i wrote for it some men would rather dig the village well than tell you they are not feeling well because they are told in this cold world what good would it do to cry tears that wouldn't fill a single bucket whose thirst would it quench nothing but the quiet ego because though you had let go of every single thing that was holding you down your own kin is running out of time and have to dig for water because there is no way they are drinking your ocean of tears because it's less and it's salty some men like my father fought the war of independence and came back pulling grenade pins out of each sentence but if you look at them closely in their sli silent moments when bombs were not exploding in their daydreams you would find in that minefield a love that erupted with color across every single scar and you found a man with a conscience a love a patience a black dove born to find peace and then told it's only through the barrel of a gun there are men who have never been held so they overcompensate by carrying the world on their backs trying to imitate the mothers they watched as kids who carried their sons with so much joy as if bearing gifts to pay tribute to the gods so they cradled everyone's problem and when it came to the day their own backs were broken the world said men up it's only a broken back, but what hit them the most had nothing to do with their spinal cords. But that at one point they had been left abandoned on the side of the road. And when they carried the world on their backs, it was as if to say, I will always lift anything off the path because I would never want anyone else to be left for dead on the ground to be trampled to death every other time. There are so many men with a love, a patience. Black doves told that their feathers are the wrong shade, so they no longer fly from tree to tree, but soak their beautiful shiny duck wings in silent tears in the shade. Spare a thought for them, because every last one of them is still a poem. They bleed rivers of pain that they do not want the world to see because no one can quench thirst with blood even when they shed their own for others to dream. Let us not call them weak but just broken men because we all know all broken things can be put back together. Thank you.